In this problem, we have been given chimp of mass 80 kg hanging by a vine which is passing frictionlessly over this branch of a tree and the other end of that vine is held by a gorilla of mass 120 kg and we need to find how fast must the chimp accelerate up the vine so that the gorilla at the other end gets lifted off the ground. Let us start with a simple case when the chimp is not climbing up, the system is at rest and uh, we can draw the free body diagrams of the chimp, the vine and the gorilla. They will look as shown here. Let us start with the free body diagram of the chimp. Here the tension in the vine is completely balancing the chimp's weight. So the tension and uh, the chimp's weight will be equal like this. Then the reaction of this tension on the uh, chimp will create tension in uh, the vine. So the free body diagram of the vine will look like this. It will have two tensions at the two ends and uh, the branch will be supporting it with a force of two times the tension. And finally the free body diagram of the gorilla. Here the tension in the string uh, in the vine will be acting on the gorilla in the upward direction it will not be enough to balance its weight m2 into g so the gorilla will be partially supported by the ground or the normal reaction from the ground so we can write the weight of the gorilla m2g will be balanced by normal reaction n from the ground and the tension t now let us consider a scenario when the chimp starts to accelerate upward now to climb up with acceleration the chimp will need an upward force and this must exceed its weight m1g and the chimp can therefore push down on the vine and use the upward reaction r from the vine to get this upward force now we can apply newton's second law f is equal to ma that is the net force is equal to mass into acceleration the net upward force will be r the reaction coming from the vine on the chimp minus the downward force m1g the chimp's weight will be equal to m1 into a mass of chimp into its acceleration so here is a free body diagram of the chimp its weight m1g is acting downward a reaction r is coming from the vine in the upward direction and uh, the two forces are not equal although they are opposite and therefore there will be some net force in the upward direction causing an acceleration a of the chimp it is like the car pushing backward on the road and gaining acceleration in the forward direction. Now this reaction R from the vine on the chimp is because of the action R from the chimp on the vine. And you can notice this action reaction are acting on two different bodies and they are equal and opposite according to Newton's third law. Well, now let us consider the free body diagram of the vine. On the vine, this reaction uh, or this action R from the chimp will cause a tension. Of course, it will be different this time. So let us call it say T dash. So over here we can equate T dash, the tension in the vine to be the action from the chimp. Now because the vine is passing frictionlessly over the branch, this tension T dash will be applied as it is to the gorilla and now this is gorilla's free body diagram its weight is acting downward but in this case we are trying to lift it off the ground and therefore the normal reaction will become zero it's on the verge of losing contact with the ground and therefore there are only two forces the tension t dash in the upward direction and its own weight m2g in the downward direction and these two will be equal if we, we, are, we are hoping to lift the gorilla. Combining these three equations we will get m1g plus m2g is equal to r that we can get from equation 1 here. r is equal to t dash and t dash is equal to m2g and then we can simplify we are solving for the unknown a so we can solve for a by substituting m1 and m2's values by solving we get the acceleration of the chimpanzee to be 4.9 meters per second square 